Parents are giving up custody of their kids to get need-based college financial aid. So this is something that's happening in the United States, the richest country in the world, by the way. Dozens of suburban Chicago families, perhaps many more, have been exploiting a legal loophole to win their children need-based college financial aid and scholarships they would not otherwise receive, court records and interview shows. Coming months after the National Varsity Blues, a movie that I can admit I enjoyed. It's one of my guilty pleasures, Varsity Blues. You know, I was uh, I was in middle school when a lot of those movies were being made. So a lot of those teen movies that came out during that time in the late 90s, early 2000s, those are guilty pleasure, nostalgia type movies for someone like me. Varsity Blues, She's All That, uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. Most of that derived from Shakespeare. But anyway, and Shakespeare stole his stuff from other people too. Not stole, but you know what I mean. I, I mean, what's that theory? There's really only like 10 stories. You know, like there's only 10 stories and we just tell a variation of all of them. Which one are we telling today? All right. Anyway. All right. College admission scandal. Uh, this tactic also. Okay. So parents are giving up. Here's what's happening. Parents are giving up legal custody of their children during their junior or senior year in high school to someone else, either a friend, an aunt, a cousin, or grandparent. The guardianship status then allows the students to declare themselves financially independent of their families so they can qualify for federal, state, and university aid, a ProPublica Illinois investigation found. So here's what Andy Bors, director of undergraduate admissions at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign says, it's a scam. Wealthy families are manipulating the financial aid process to be eligible for financial aid they would not be otherwise eligible for. They're taking away opportunities from family that really need it. So here's my thought on this. I completely agree that the aid should go to the families that need it most. Of course, I feel that way. I'm sure everybody does. Uh, it should go to those who need it most. But the bigger picture here is how desperately we need uh, free college and universal uh, tuition-free college. That's what this is really telling us. Because look, you know, the way aid works at a certain point, families don't qualify for it. And it's not like it's just the 1%. Is it the upper middle class? Yeah. And the middle class, which by the way, the, the middle class is shrinking. We're getting to the point where we pretty much have two classes. And why do we just have to, the rich and the poor? That's pretty much all we have. That's where we're getting to. Why is that the case? Well, because people can't go to college without surrendering to crippling amounts of debt. That's why that's happening. So, so I, Again, what these families are doing is wrong, of course. The aid should go to those who need it most, of course. But bigger picture, we should have free college. Because nobody should feel like they need to be in a situation where they have to do something like this. Nobody should feel like I have to give up guardianship of my child so that they can go to college without crippling amounts of debt, straddling them when they get out. Nobody in the United States should feel like they should be in that situation, like they shouldn't make that call. And I'm not saying it's the right thing. It, of course it's not. The families that do that to, to exploit a loophole, that's wrong. They shouldn't do that. They should report their income honestly. But it's really also showing how broken the system is, how broken it is that we don't view education as a public good, that we don't have tuition-free college, that we don't have what other countries take for granted. They have affordable education in other countries, tuition-free or close to it. There's no reason why we can't do that here. Why? Because you know that big tax break that the Trump administration and the GOP gave the 1%, you know that big tax break? The amount of revenue they're not going to get from that tax break, which by the way, taxes are already incredibly low for the richest among us. Now they're even lower. Corporate tax is already super low. Now they're even lower. That tax break, the revenue that's going to be lost for that would have paid for all student loan forgiveness. And Bernie Sanders has a plan out there to get rid of student loan debt and to make college tuition free. He knows how he's going to pay for it. And it's through a series of taxes on Wall Street, which are long overdue. So... The money's there. The money's there. There's no reason why we can't have this. And Republicans, hey, they don't worry about the budget. They'll give a tax break. They'll not even worry about it. But we can forgive all student loan debt the same way. that, that Just that revenue, 
could forgive all student loan debt. Boom, it's just gone. So there are many ways we could pay. Why do I say many ways? Because if, if you look into MMT, we could also just fund it right there and boom, the money's spent. And it's spent for that. It's an investment in education as a public good. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Rhonda. Do you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and 